Grade 6, Subject Science, Chapter 8, Body Moments, Module 5. Objectives. At the end of the session, you will be able to understand about Moment of Snake, Yoga for Better Health. Dear children, in our last class, we studied about gait of some animals like cockroach, earthworm, snail, fish, birds, etc. Today, we are going to study about movement of snakes. How do snakes move? Have you seen a snake slither? Does it move straight? Let us see. Please watch how the snakes moves. Snakes have a long backbone. They have many thin muscles. They are connected to each other even though they are far from one another. Muscles also interconnected to the bones, ribs and skin. The snake's body curves into many loops. Each loop of the snake gives it a forward push by pressing against the ground. Since its long body makes many loops and each loop gives its this push, the snake moves forward very fast and not in a straight line. We have learned about the use of bones and muscles for the movements of different animals, right? So that's all about the body movements. Now, let us see the best exercise for our body to make our body movements smooth. Yoga for better health. What yoga can do to our body? Let's watch. Yoga is an invaluable gift of the ancient Indian tradition. The United Nations declared 21st June as International Day of Yoga. Yoga keeps a person healthy. It helps in keeping the backbone erect, enabling you to sit straight and not slouch. Many postures in yoga require you to lift your own weight, which helps in making the bones strong and help the ward off osteoporosis. It also helps in relieving joint pain which is mostly observed in elderly people. It tunes all muscles in the body and keeps them active. It keeps the heart healthy and makes it work more efficiently. So dear children, practice some yoga postures. It is good for your health, that is both physical and mental health. Okay, that's all about this chapter. So let us recap what we studied. Bones and cartilage form the skeleton of the human body. It gives the frame and shape to the body and helps in movement. It protects the inner organs. The human skeleton comprises the backbone, ribs and the breastbone, shoulder and hip bones, and the bones of hands and legs. The bones are moved by alternate contractions and relaxation of two sets of muscles. The bone joints are of various kinds depending on the nature of joints and direction of movement they allow. Strong muscles and the light bones work together to help the birds fly. They fly by flapping their wings. Fish swim by forming loops alternately on two sides of the body. Snakes slither on the ground by looping sideways. A large number of bones or muscles are associated or asso and associated muscles push the body forward. The body and legs of cockroaches have hard coverings 
forming an outer skeleton. The muscles of the breast connected with three pairs of legs and two pairs of wings help the cockroach to walk and fly. Earthworms move by alternate extension and contraction of the body using muscles. Tiny bristles on the underside of the body help in gripping the ground. Snails move with the help of a muscular foot. So that's all about our chapter body movements. Let us move to the follow-up activity of today. Who is the author of the book Gate of Animals? Find it out and message me. Thank you. Have a nice day.